with profound, humble gratitude and love to all venerated enlightened masters. We bow to the Almighty in soulful gratefulness for gifting us with their holy, blessed presence. May all beings be awakened by their divine grace. Part 3 of 4 Etc. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, heaven Godspeed. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Every cell has a mind, remember that. So if you are compassionate, every cell in your body becomes healthy. When once the cell becomes healthy, the body becomes healthy. Please stay with us to enjoy this illuminating Congress. We're also seeing an increase in our risk because of factory farming. We're seeing mutations and new bird flu and swine flu come out over and over again. New viruses constantly emerging from these factory farms. Dr. Aisha Akhtar, MD, MPH, vegan. Today's program will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Oluxis, also known as Vietnamese, Chinese, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Korean, Mongolian, Persian, Portuguese, Russian, Spanish, Thai, and Ukrainian or Uranian. This is pleased to meet you in Albanian, one of the official languages of Kosovo. I am Bajran. The vibrant people of Kosovo wish you happiness and blessings from God. Kosovo is nestled in the center of the Balkan region in Southeast Europe and is a great place for travelers who hope to dive into the culture and history of the Balkans. The country is known for its people's benevolence and kindness. Visitors are often treated to free desserts or tours of the neighborhood by the welcoming locals. The medieval monuments in Kosovo are UNESCO World Heritage Sites consisting of four Serbian Orthodox Christian churches and monasteries, these include the 14th century Church of Our Lady of Jevis, the Gratsanitsa Monastery, a beautiful example of medieval ecclesiastical architecture, the Patriarchate of Pechi, built in the 13th century, and the 14th century Vysoki Detsani Monastery, which is known for its elegant and unique design and displays both Western and Eastern church architectural elements that blend into a particular hybrid style. With its rich diversity of plant and tree species, Kosovo is home to an array of animal people. There are an estimated 46 mammal people species and as many as 225 bird people species in the country, many with regional or global conservation significance. About 40% of the land is covered by forests, with oak trees in lower elevations and pines growing in the mountains. The mountainous border regions are home to many animal people, such as brown bears, Eurasian lynx, wildcats, grey wolves, foxes, chamois, roe deer, and red deer, all enriching the country's biodiversity. In December 2010, the first ever Middle East Vegetarian Congress was held at the Dubai International Exhibition Center, with the public invited to engage in an interactive exploration of the plant-based lifestyle, organized by the Middle East Veg Group, or MiVeg, supported by the Middle East Natural and Organic Product Expo 2010, and endorsed by the Dubai Health Authority of the United Arab Emirates. The event provided two days of seminars, workshops, and video telecasts with experts from around the world, along with rejuvenating veg cuisine.
In addition, Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, was specially invited to speak via live video link on being a vegan and environmentally sustainable food choice, followed by a question and answer session with attendees and the launch of the Arabic edition of the international best-selling book, The Birds in My Life, which was already sold out pre-launch. The Birds in My Life was printed by United Printing and Publishing, a subsidiary of Abu Dhabi Media Company, or ADMC, owned by the government of Abu Dhabi. We now invite you to join us for part 4 of the conference titled The First Middle East Vegetarian or MeVeg Congress held in the city of Dubai in the United Arab Emirates on December 6, 2010 with Dr. B. M. Hedge, MD, vegetarian, cardiologist, professor of medicine and author who continues on the importance of compassion and positivity in leading a healthy life. There was this famous writer, journalist in America called Norman Cousins. Norman goes with President Kennedy to Moscow to meet Khrushchev. And in the meeting, he was with the President in a December morning, but very cold, sub-zero temperature in Moscow with mounds of snow. There was a jet plane which was turning and the jet steam, very hot jet steam hit his body. And that's what he thinks is the beginning of his disease. He became crippled, completely crippled. And the Harvard Medical School, they said, you have only three months to live and nothing can be done, you will die. So the man got admitted to Peter Brenbrigham Hospital, expecting to die. One day a friend of his came to visit him, jolly good fellow. And he was cracking some jokes. And suddenly, Norman started laughing. And he laughed so loud, and suddenly found his little finger was moving. Which was not moving at all. If a fly sits on his forehead, he couldn't just drive it away. But with this laughter, he got one finger moving. So his friends went back and got various movies, those 16mm things, because those days there were no videos. I'm talking of the early part of the last century. And then he laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed. And then he would be surprised. In three months time, he went home and lived happily for 29 more years before he died of a ripe old age in 89. He has written a beautiful book for all that read. Very small book. Please buy that and read. It's called Anatomy of an Illness. Anatomy, A-N-A-T-O-M-Y of an Illness. So, Norman Cousins has written a book for you. If you can really enjoy life, all nutrition will come back to you. Because do you know why? Now we know, body has got a capacity to transform things, which is called transmutation. Suppose you read require sodium, and if you have plenty of potassium, your body can change potassium into sodium. It's called almost alchemy. It's called biological transmutation. Let's welcome His Excellency, the Minister of Health of UAE. No, no. It's not come. Not come yet? Yeah. Now he's coming. He's, he's just going round. Let me just define health for you when he is coming. Okay, we will, we will define it after he leaves. While we wait, I think I enjoy Dr. Edgar's uh, uh, little speech a lot and it makes a lot of sense. Our, as I was saying, our bodies are our autobiographies, so they do tell us. But who's listening? If he says the mind is in every cell and our brain is not our mind, then, um, I don't know, we have big trouble. I think there is a connectivity trouble between our mind and our bodies. When our bodies tell us something, our mind rejects it and gives it a total different ideas, which might not be good for the body. So I think the inner struggle keeps going on. I'm sure you've heard of the placebo effect. Like, you know, the doctors, they use it, that they would give a pill to a person saying, this is going to cure your headache at the moment and it might be just a sugar pill and the mind makes it real. Now how is that possible? On one hand we talk about the body that uh, assimilates everything and uh, the process is going on, yet the mind or the brain has the power to overrule that absolutely. 
and sometimes when all these pills we are taking, they may or may not have an impact on our body, but our mind is what makes it real. So if my mind is confused, worrying all the time, not laughing enough as Dr. Hedde said, said, then my body is also going to get fatigued up. So let's just keep balancing. That is why we are all here, to have a holistic approach about life. We need to see. There are two inputs in the body. Uh, one is, what are the two inputs into our body? One is food and the other, we breathe. And both these things we are not at all well at. Good morning, Swati. Good morning. I'd like to welcome our esteemed, esteemed guest here. Assalamu alaikum. It's an honor to have uh, uh, him there. Please, Sandhya, could I request you? Come here. It's an extreme honor to have Mr. Hanif Hassan here today. Thank you, sir, for coming in to the first ever Middle East Veg Congress uh, that we are organizing in the UAE. Ahlan uh, wa uh, Can we all please stand up for the national anthem, please? is a focus on health for the UAE by going back to the plant-based diet and to increase that in our daily diet which is what will make a difference in each and every child for the future to address all our chronic illnesses, problems of diabetes, hypertension and obesity that we are facing. This is one of the key techniques where we change all the side dishes of vegetables that we beautifully have in this Arab tradition into the main dishes for all of us, as tasty as we can get. So on this note, on this wonderful occasion this morning, uh, we would like all of you to please welcome here and we would like the minister to light a little lamp which will shine forth for our future generations. To look at nature closely, go back to nature, and look at what we started with. So the light and the lamp of that is what we request you to please come and burn. Thank you so much, sir. Sandhya is back. The signal is that we can restart. It was very nice of the His Excellency, the Health Minister, to have visited us. I think I should start with the definition of health. 
health minister around here, I should define health. There's a new definition of health now. The old definition was health is absence of physical, mental, psychological, spiritual, economic, social well-being. This is possible only after you die, number one. Number two, they say, probably at the height of orgasm, it lasts only for a few seconds. But the real health is none of these things. Health is defined as enthusiasm to work. Remember that? Health is enthusiasm to work. And enthusiasm to be compassionate. That's health. Which was defined by Sigmund Freud way back in the 19th century as work and love. But I've changed it because love connotes something different from the younger generation. Love is not L-O-V-E in English for the younger generation. It's L-U-S-T. So I've just taken that. But the true meaning of the word love is in Greek language. There are three words. Eros. That is erotic love. The lust that you talk about in younger generation. Then phil. Phil is affinity. You are so close to the other person, you call it as phil. The last one is agapi. Agapi, A-G-A-P-I or A-G-A-P-O, agapo, in Greek means compassion, universal compassion. You have compassion on everybody, you don't hate nobody. And if you really develop that, I tell you, you cannot have disease because as our mistress of ceremonies rightly or wrongly interpreted by saying the mind, every cell has a mind, remember that. So if you are compassionate, every cell in your body becomes healthy. When once the cell becomes healthy, the body becomes healthy. The body is the mind, mind is the body. There is a mind in the brain also, but there is a mind in the leg also, there is a mind in your hair also. That's what I am going to tell you. Now having said this, I must tell her the real physics background of this. It's not just esoteric that you just talk about. Fritz Albert Popp is a very famous physicist in German. Fritz, F-R-I-T-Z, Albert, A-L-B-E-R-T, Fritz, Sy hyphen, Albert, Pop, P-O-P-P. -P. You go to Google and say Fritz, Albert, Pop. What he has shown is, every molecule in a body emits a light, which is called the photon light. And today you have a photographic film, you can photograph that. Now what is interesting is, every cell in the body loves another cell in the body and vibrates at the same frequency in these photon lights, which are called biophotons. Now, supposing your body and my body today is supposed to vibrate with all your bodies because I don't get any one of you here. So, you can now study my photon light with your photon light. They are vibrating in synchrony. So, when there is synchrony between your own photons and the photons of others that you live with, you remain very healthy because your mind becomes very tranquil. Now, the second part of the thing is compassion. If you have compassion, everything is fine. The third part is, yes, I am done. The third part is the food that you put in. Here is the most important part that you are concerned in this conference. What is important is, the food that you put in shall not disturb this peace of mind. And usually, the meat-based diet disturbs it because the chemical things in the meat-based diet are something different. Plus, in nature, if you see, all meat-eating animals, tigers, lions, cats, dogs, they have different teeth, canine teeth, they bite into the meat. You and I have mostly molar teeth for grinding fiber. Second, all meat-eating animals have a very short cut. Even a tiger has only nine feet cut. A lion has 8 feet cut, but you have 27 feet cut. What you eat today takes about 24 hours to go. Meat should not remain in the body for that long. So these are the things I want to tell you, a little bit of science. Now, back to the mistress of ceremonies. Thank you for being with me. Thank you. Keep making war, because the devils are so happy they can't wait to torture you and give you all the pain that you cause to other people. Only multi, multi, multi million times more. Thoughtful viewers, 
Thank you for your presence today for the first Middle East Vegetarian or Me Veg Congress. On Words of Wisdom, please join us tomorrow for part 5 of this informative conference. Coming up next is Miniature Gardens, Beauty in Tiny Spaces, right after noteworthy news. May the heavens forever smile down on us. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, hell not reach. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash WOW. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com bar oblique WOW. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule y suprememastertv.com barra inclinada WOW. برای میجور نمتوافیر بل عدید من اللغات یورت یا زیاره suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule و suprememastertv.com forward slash w o w